hello traders and welcome to another video review today is thursday uh, february 22nd 2024 let's take a look at the daily time frame chart of the bitcoin quoted to euro at zonda in crypto uh, as you can see i'm using the japanese candlesticks and they are showing the uh, upward movement towards the level of 49073 euro and then we have this little consolidation in a narrow range um, limited uh, to the uh, level of 49,000 and uh, 73 euro and from the uh, below we got the uh, level of um, roughly 47,000 and uh, 7 euro so this level will act as the technical support as you can see it was tested already nevertheless uh, if there's any breakout lower way below the 47,007 euro next target would be located somewhere around 44,698 so this is the uh, technical uh, support uh, level for the mm, bulls the momentum is coming off the extremely overbought uh, conditions are way above the level of uh, 80 so right now we are just testing the uh, 70 uh, points uh, level on the RSI and as we know this means that the market needs to cool off um, if, uh, from the extremely overbought conditions so that's why we got this consolidations here it's, it's typical it's normal for the uh, trending markets to perform this kind of uh, uh, actions please remember that this market can go even lower uh, because there is still room to the downside on the momentum um, indicator there is still room towards the level of 50 which is the neutral level so the market can go uh, towards 44,698 as the next uh, technical support before the upward movement will be uh, resumed the 50 and uh, 100 periods moving average has made a, a channel and as you can see this mm, channel has been a very very good indicator of the uh, possible uh, up upward uh, movement continuation because uh, after some sort of the uh, correction we just hit the lower band of the uh, of the channel and then bounce back up and then even we got this brief dip towards the um, uh, the band uh, inside of the band and uh, because of the very nice um, improvement in the um, uh, in the overall performance of this two moving averages especially after the breakout above 25,000 euro we will still continue to use this uh, to moving average channel until it will prove as uh, otherwise mm, of course we can use uh, plenty other different uh, plenty other uh, the technical analysis tools to uh, maintain uh, our uh, point of view nevertheless the best one is of course the uh, Elliott wave which points out that the upward movement has not been uh, completed uh, just yet because this movement uh, to the upside is still in uh, must be still made in five waves so let me just uh, place some waves for you guys we got the wave uh, the wave uh, one made here that's the wave two one two three four and that's the wave uh, that's the wave three the correction is the wave four and now we are finishing um, wave five to the upside however this upside internal trend from wave four to wave five has not been completed yet and needs to be go uh, even even higher from the technical point of view if we zoom out we can clearly see that the next target for bulls if the uptrend is maintained is located way 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 higher because the next target would be somewhere around the swing high from the 2021 and that's 58,975 uh, euro and this is level is clearly possible uh, uh, for the bulls to be hit sooner or later the question remains whether it's going to be hit uh, during this movement to the upside during this uh, five wave five push or um, uh, after the correction is mismade and then another wave to the upside uh, will be uh, developed so for now uh, our scenario is intact the uptrend is uh, still um, in progress we are waiting for the pullback or slight correction um, to be terminated as soon at one of the technical support levels and then the um, uptrend should resume uh, to com uh, continue with the uh, with the wave 5 uh, development so that's everything from me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys next time take care and bye bye